What's up guys, I am back and iOS 14.2 is finally here and in this video I'm gonna show you what's new and if you should install the update or not. So to kick things off, the update is very large, over 4 gigs for my iPhone 12 and depending on what iPhone you have, the update is gonna vary in size but it still is a large update because there are a ton of new things which I will talk about in a second. So right off the bat, the biggest new change are new wallpapers. So now we have 8 new wallpapers, actually 16 new wallpapers if you count the dark mode ones and they all look really nice. So we have 4 ones with landscape and then we have 4 wallpapers that are actually vector arts and all of them double up as dark mode and light mode wallpapers and they all look really nice. So these ones are more on the bluish side but the landscapes they look pretty nice and all of them all in all are really good looking. Now apart from all the new wallpapers we have 70 plus new emojis with iOS 14.2. So now we have a ninja, we have a disguised face, we have a pinched hand, we have a heart, we have a seagull, we have lungs, we have this tapeworm, we have flies, we have beetles, we have cockroach, we have blueberries, a ton of them have been introduced with iOS 14.2, even a mammoth and a bison, so there are a ton of them and they all look really nice and all of them are worth checking out and you can check them out right now with iOS 14.2. Now they have also introduced a new intercom feature, so if you have the HomePod or the HomePod mini, you can enable this feature under the home settings and you'll be able to talk around your house using this intercom feature synced with your iDevices. It's really nice and a great feature. Now other than that, one tiny little change in iOS 14.2 comes with a music player for the lock screen. So now we have timestamps next to the scroll bar which didn't exist before and if you long press the music widget inside the control center, now you have suggestions built right in there. And if you have the AirPods or the AirPods Pro, they have also introduced a feature which is optimized battery charging for the AirPods to help reduce battery aging and you will also get a notification every single time the audio levels exceed a particular level to make sure you are not impacting your hearing and we also have new controls for the AirPlay feature so that is nice. Now other than that there are some tiny additions here and there so if you have the new leather sleeve for the iPhone 12 it'll color match with MagSafe so that is nice and if you have the 12 Pro or the 12 Pro Max the LiDAR sensor will be able to detect people and let you know and report the distance which is also pretty neat but other than that this update highly focuses on fixing some bugs that existed with iOS 14.1 and 14.1.1 so if you ever face any of those most of them will be fixed with iOS 14.2 so should you install the update or not now in simple language yes you should we have over 16 new wallpapers and 70 plus new emojis so it is worth checking out and you also have a lot of bug fixes that as I said existed in the prior versions so most of them will be aggressed with iOS 14.2 and if you guys want to know about battery life and performance that is also improved with this update but not by that big of a margin you'll only see a slight difference but not that much so it's an amazing update and I believe you should go and install the update right now so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did give it a big thumbs up a lot of iPhone 12 and 12 Pro coverage is coming really soon so stay tuned for that until then please like comment and subscribe peace